Shelby, and I'm crazy about cars. I love playing Mater. <laughs> he cracks me up. Hey, what if we're at Willie's Butte and Radiator Springs, and Lightning McQueen is looking for a new car in his racing team? That's you. you. But first, you gotta try out. So you're gonna have to pass the Tomator Fancy Driving Challenge. Yep, I designed this course specially so it's only the bestest drivers in the whole world can fit it. And I've got complete confidence in Mater. If he says you're good enough, that's good enough for me. Oh, well, it ain't what I says. It's what the Tomator Fancy Driving Challenge says. Mater's right. That was some of the best driving I've ever seen. You were gonna be a great addition to my team. Indeed. I was observing the whole time that was a most impressive display. This is Holly. She's my girlfriend. Our friend here would make an excellent racer, but an even better spy. And we've a mission that's perfect for your speed and talents. That is, if Lightning doesn't mind waiting. Of course he can wait. Can't you, Lightning? Well, who am I to interfere with British intelligence? Them other teams better watch out now. They ain't never gonna beat you and Lightning. I know you was gonna impress Press everybody, everybody but, but this is better than axle grease with transmission fluid on top. I'm proud of you, buddy. That was more fun than a barrel of greasy lug nuts. I'll play cars with you anytime. Just come and find me. Well met. I'm Emma. I hear you're quite the cars enthusiast. Fancy another go round, eh? Brilliant. I shall play Holy Shiftwell, British Intelligence. And our mission takes us... to Tokyo, where someone has planted a bomb somewhere on the course of the Tokyo Grand Prix. I have a bomb detector, and you're carrying a new device that can disarm the bomb, but it only works at very short range. So you and I have to sweep the course, find the bomb, and get close enough to deactivate it before it explodes. That's the signal. It must be somewhere near there. Francesco Bernoulli? Roll off of the course, friends of Lightning McQueen. We have a race to prepare for. It's Francesco. He's carrying the bomb. And he doesn't even know. You've got to catch him and deactivate it. I see it. Deactivating the bomb now. Why? What do you want with Francesco? We had no choice. Someone sabotaged you with an explosive device. But you're safe now. Ridiculous! Francesco is not so easily fooled. You are trying to get into my head, friends of Lightning McQueen, but it will never work. I don't know why not. It sounds like there's plenty of room in there. I'll get our technicians to work analyzing this device immediately. As for you, you did your job brilliantly. Well, well done. done. Let me know if you're ever game for more adventures in the spy car trade. Cheers to then. This is my favorite place in the city to be. It's so festive. Oh, good. I've been waiting for you. I'm called Ian. I hear you love playing cars as much as I do. Let's cut to the chase. Remember that bomb somebody stuck on Francesco? Well, now there's a whole convoy of trucks full of those bombs traveling through Porto Corsa. Finn McMissile, British Intelligence. And if we can get near enough to the, the convoy, con we can suss out who's behind those bombs. Discretion is vital. We'll keep a low profile and see how close we can get. Ready? Let's go. Professor? No thanks to you, McMissile. No thanks required, mate. All in a day's work. Nicely done, my friend. Very impressive, impressive indeed. indeed. That 
That's the sort of performance that earns medals and knighthoods. If you follow my mean. It's been a privilege working with you. Hope we can do it again sometime. You know how to find me. Nice! You met all three of the biggest Cars fans. Awesome. Those guys are really imaginative. So keep checking in with them. They're always coming up with new ideas and things. <coughs> Ladies and gentle callers! Welcome back to Radiator Springs, where, boy, do we got a lot of busy and exciting stuff going on. Behind me is where Lightning McQueen, my best friend, is going to be building his new racing headquarters. And then even more better, we're going to have our very own racing stadium. We'll see how that's coming along later. But the most and bestest part of all is we got all these new folks coming from all over the world to race in our first annual Radiator Springs uh, what is it, uh, in, in, uh, in, in, inter, uh, Mater National. Yep, we got real racing professionals visiting from Germany, Japan, Italy, and all sorts of other places I've seen on TV. There's gonna be all sorts of cool happenings going on this week, races and games, and if we're lucky, a whole lot of crashing, so just stay tuned! Ah, dang. Whoa, whoa! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Uh, you do know you're on the wrong side of the road, right? Yes, yes, so sorry, I, I'm still getting the hang of it, you see, I'm, I'm visiting from England, and, uh, oh my. Oh, my, you're Lightning McQueen, aren't you? Oh, this is excellent! First day in town, and I'm already face to face with a racing superstar! <laughs> uh, tell you what, um... Uh, Philip! Okay, Philip, uh, just to make your vacation a little safer, why don't we practice driving on the other side of the road for a while? What do you say? <gasps> A private racing lesson from Lightning McQueen? Oh, my friends are not going to believe this! Not a racing lesson, a drive- Lightning McQueen is giving private racing lessons? Oh, count me in, Mr. McQueen! Hello, Fred? You remember my name? I can't believe he remembers my name! You know, that's just the kind of guy he is! Yes, yes, he just saved me from near death! Uh, well, I don't know about that. He did? Hey, what are you doing here? You're blocking my street. I know, sorry, Doc, I was just- Look, it's the- Fabulous Hudson Hornet. The fabulous Hudson Hornet! I'm also the town doctor, so calm down, son, before you rupture something. And then I gotta fix you up. <clears throat> oh, that would be brilliant! Hey, what's going on, guys? You getting ready for a race or something? A race? Yes! Against Lightning McQueen and the fabulous Hudson Hornet! <laughs> okay, sure. That's a great idea. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, come on, Doc. Just stretching our tires. We'll go easy on them. We'll come back for that. Hey, something looks different about you two. Did you get new tires? Wow, you guys look great. You should have Ramon fix you up with a lightning bolt. Then you look just like Giovanni! Hello, my friend. <gasps> I am his friend. Nice to meet you, Giovanni. I'm Lightning. Nice to meet you, Lightning. It was so nice of all of you to dress up like me. I'm not dressed up like you. I'm Lightning McQueen. I'm a famous race car, too. Ah, yes, of course. You're the famous Lightning McQueen. I did not realize. You know, I'm looking forward to a race. You are a hero to me. I'm so embarrassed. I'm such a fan of yours. Really? Wow, thanks. I cannot wait for a race together. It will be such an honor. I will count the hours till then. Well, there's no harm in a little practice run, right? We could all race together. That would be fantastic. Hear that, Luigi? He's a fan of mine. What do you say, guys? You want to race on my team? What do I have to do to impress folks around here? Ah! Gold Star! Right. Thanks, Lizzie. <laughs> Boy, that was fun. Yeah. Wait, do you hear that? Stampede! Great. Let's go get him. We wasn't here, remember? We was out smashing mailboxes. We used that one already. Okay, then. We was, uh, we was out garbage hunting. Twice in one week? Oh, right. Uh, how about we just leave the door open so they can come back when they're ready? Kind of goes against the whole concept of a gate, but okay. Ha! <laughs> 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 
Did you see that one? He went like... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Still, don't you feel kind of bad for him? No, it's okay. I mean, shoot, this is the most exciting thing that's happened to them in a long time. I mean, if tractors can talk, I bet, I bet they'd thank us. They'd say, um, uh... Moo? No, they'd say, um, uh... <laughs> tractors on the loose again. Yeah, those tractors, you know, they're a lot smarter than they look. I mean, I ain't never seen a tractor open no gate before, but... Mater. Shoot. I'm sorry, Sheriff. We were just having some fun. Yeah, well, I don't want you going out to that field again. Especially with folks reporting they've been seeing the ghost light out there. The... the, the ghost light? That's right. The glowing blue ball of ghostly light that haunts these very parts. What's that? What? What'd you see? Nothing. Guess my eyes are playing tricks on me. You better get on home. And watch out, because you never know when the ghost light might be following you. Don't say stuff like that. I'm allergic to ghosts. Whoa! Guess what you won? Nice. Thanks, Lizzie. Oh, Mater, what's going on? Don't go into Ornament Valley. Why? What's wrong? I've seen some weird lights up in them hills. I think it's the ghost light. Really? The ghost light? Yeah, and it's making an awful sound, too. It sounds just like this. Wahoo! Wahoo! I don't know. Maybe it's just Frank. No, Frank don't sound like that. Frank goes like this. Wahoo! 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 I remember it more like this. What are you two doing? I've been hearing reports of unidentified phenomena out here, only to find out it's just... What's that? It's a ghost light! Stay here, son. This is a military operation. Can you see anything with your night vision goggles, Shh. Sir? Whatever's out here, it's down there. Somehow I don't think it's really the ghost light. Are you crazy? I'm not crazy, I'm Goodman. You're a trespasser, is what you are. State your purpose. Oh, well, let's see. Rally car. Rally champion racer, actually. From Sweden. Nice to meet you, Angry Sergeant. Angry Sergeant is right. I should have you court-martialed for reckless conduct. Sergeant, I think he's here for the races. Right? Oh, my goodness. It's Lightning McQueen. You have a great track down there. A little dark, but not a problem. Would you like to join me for a race? Ah, uh, sorry. I can't. No headlights. Afraid of the dark? <laughs> no, afraid of crashing. What? A good soldier must always learn to adapt and improvise. Yahoo! Oh, this is cool. Night racing at lightning speed. Those are some pretty amazing lights you got there, Goodman. They keep the haunted hook away. Keeps the who away? <laughs> The Haunted Hook. A scary story for when I was young. A rugged beast, living in the wild, constructed of jagged, rusted metal and dragging a razor-sharp hook behind him on the ground. He would wander the deserted roads in the dark of night. Scrape. Scrape. Hey, Mayor. Come here. I want you to meet someone. Ah! The ghost hunt! Ah! The Haunted Hook! Hey, cousin. I thought we got a race today. Ain't nobody getting ready. No, well, they've been sitting like that for the last hour. What are they looking at? That their rally car who come all the way here from England for the festival. She real pretty, ain't she? Oh, oh. oh no, she's looking this way. Quick! Act natural! Act natural! 
<laughs> oh dear, they're off their rock of ours. Oh, I'm so sorry. I completely wasn't watching where I was going. Are you all right? Ah, uh, it's okay. I didn't hardly feel that. You're very tough. You know, I've been watching your races. You are absolutely brilliant out there. I bet there's a story behind every dent here. Boy, it sure is. And they all end with me smashing into something. <laughs> <laughs> where are my manners? My name is Emma. My name's Major, and I've been looking for my manners for years. <laughs> well, I better get ready. I'll see you out there. Well, <laughs> I hope I never forget the story of this dance. You know, I win a lot of races back home, but I never thought I'd have such sensational competition over here. Nah, nobody could beat you in a race. You just won, Mater. I was referring to you. Hi, you are modest. I'm sure your fans love that about you. Fans? Shoot, I ain't got no fans. Well, at least you got the sheriff, but he has to come watch me for legal reasons. I see. Well, it's a shame. I've yet to see your wonderful town. Would you give me a tour? Sure I will. I don't mean to brag, but I know all the best gas stations here in town. <gasps> really? Oh, yeah, there's Flo's V8 Cafe, and we got, uh, uh, well, that's really the only gas station, actually, but it's good. Who are these guys? I think maybe we're in the wrong race. Huh. Looks like there's a new guy in town. Hey, you're that drift car I saw earlier, right? <laughs> yeah, looked like you were taking those turns sideways. Pretty cool. Hey, you ever heard of this one? Turn right to go left. Right, you said lightning. That's me. And this, this is Mater. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa! Mater, you speak Japanese? Well, sure, doesn't everybody? Bokuwa,君の友達の大ファンなんだ。僕の友達もみんな彼のことを知ってるよ。もし僕が彼とレースしたら、みんな大興奮するだろうな。きっと伝説のレースになるよ。彼は僕の挑戦を受けてくれる
tell you what, Sheriff. Let me take Otto off your hands for you. I'll make sure he stays out of trouble. Hey, Otto, how's three laps sound? Like a Sunday drive. I race in La Cars. One race lasts 24 hours. Oh, that's a long race. Let's just start with three laps. Come on, Sheriff. Why don't you join us? You can blast your siren. It'll be fun. Distant third, here I come. That was a good race, but now let us race some more. Wow, again? You really like to race. But maybe you should take a break, see the town. No time for seeing, only time for racing. Yeah, but don't you think you should get a souvenir while you're in town? Do you have a girlfriend back in Germany? Yeah, she is called Jenny. Well, there you have it. You can't go back without a nice gift for Jenny. Nine, Jenny would not like that. No, she wouldn't. Luckily, Lizzie's Curio Shop is just down the street. All the souvenirs you could imagine. Just tell her Lightning sent you. Danke schön, Lightning. Anytime! Be sure to ask for the full tour! Oh, and about Stanley! And about how things are different now than they were in the old days! Sending him to see Lizzie, huh? Yep. That'll keep him busy. Yep. Hey, Doc. Checking out the new stadium? Yep. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Nice new track, spotting booth for Mater, pits for Guido. It's gonna be awesome. Pretty fancy track. You know what I had to practice on? Dirt. Dirt track, wooden fences. And you had to drive 12 miles to school in the snow without chains. Come on, Doc, this is gonna be great for the town. I am proud of you, son. You done good. Wow. Thanks, Doc. That, that means a lot coming from you. That's all you're gonna get. Okay. Well, well, well. Looks to me like we got some folks trying out the track before you. What do you say we go down and get a race going? Your track. Honor goes to you. Say... Who's that fella all covered in stickers? Howdy, folks! I'm here at the site of the new Radiator Springs Racing Stadium of Radiator Springs. Shoot, it ain't built yet, and we done already had our first race. Hey, Lightning, you want to tell us what else we got to look forward to this week? Lots of exciting races, Mater, against some of the best competitors from all over the world, each one a champion in their own right. Like that Giovanni fella. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that race. He's a winner, I'm a winner, but there's only room in this town for one winner. Good, him's fighting words. Ah, just a friendly little knock. Hey, speaking of knocking around, I hear there's a big rally cross champ from England you'll be trading paint with at the Rust Bucket. Yes, there is. And are you ready? No, I'm not. Hey, where are you going? I gotta practice. Okay, so, anyway, stay tuned, everybody, because this week is going to be supercharged. Here you go, champ. That's for winning the race. Gee, thanks, Lizzie. This is Mater reporting to you live from the new stadium where they're making... What's the word? Yeah. Tremendous progress on, uh, the progress. So, Lightning, your second big race of the week and you done one again. How does it feel? Uh, it feels good, Mater, thanks. Goodman was, uh, a uh, memorable competitor. Now, you got here to town a ways back, you were lost, alone, you even had to wear a parking boot. And now you live here and all this great stuff is happening for you. Tell us, how do you feel right now? Um, everything's great, Mater. Look, I done made you cry with that last question. I'm not crying. Sure you are, right there. A tear. That's not a tear, that's condensation. It's dew. There ain't no dew. Trust me, it's not a tear. Look at me. Do zoom I look in, sad? Zoom in. Let's have a look at the tears of a champion. Congratulations! This is a beautiful stadium! Well, what do you think, audience? Oh yeah, this is a great opening day crowd. I bet they can hear us out at the interstate. So, ready to put on a good show? It will be a wonderful race. However, I do feel a little bit badly. I would hate for you to lose on your home ground. <laughs> but I'm also not just going to let you win. I wouldn't expect anything less. Bring it on. But before we get started, there's still a little matter of commemorating the stadium. See that red ribbon down there? I see it. First one there cuts the ribbon, hmm? This is gonna be fun. 
Oh, great race, Giovanni. Ah, yes. Someday we will have to try that again, eh? Yeah, again! You must race again. But you saw Lightning. He won. The sun was in your eyes. You were distracted by thoughts of home. Look, all of your tires, they're almost flat. It is a tragedy from which I will never recover. I, bet, I guess we race again. For Luigi, sure, it's the least we could do. What do you say we make it a little more interesting? You and two of your friends against me and two of mine. Home team versus away. Okay? Okay, for Luigi. That's right. We're nothing without our fans. Well, we wrapped up the Mater National with a great finish, and look what we found waiting for us. Our new clubhouse! Mater, it's not really a clubhouse. It's the headquarters for all of our professional racing operations. Okay, it's a clubhouse. New stadium, new headquarters. You're going to be very busy here. Yeah, I think we're going to need a bigger town. <laughs> I wouldn't change a thing. Lightning, it was a very enjoyable week, and I hope we can repay your hospitality and host you and your friends in the European circuit one day. Absolutely. We'll take this show on the road. We're going to Europe? And just where exactly is that again? It's just over the pond. Pond? Oh, dang, I can't swim. Everybody, it's time for the end of a festival picture. Guido, are you ready? Okay. Okay, ready? Everyone say... Everybody say, whoo, boy! Oh boy. Hey there, race fans! Troy Brakeman here, welcoming you to Radiator Spring Speedway, where Lightning McQueen and the Doc Hudson Racing Academy team are taking on all the challengers in the qualifying round for the Race Arrival Series Trophy. Show them what a precision instrument of speed and aerodynamics can do. You know, that's not how we do things around here. Who taught you to race like that? Kachika! Kachika! Chick Hicks. That's right. Me and some of my friends are here to win the Race O Rama series and shut down your pathetic Doc Hudson Racing Academy. Then every car in the world will want to come to my school, the Chick Hicks Racing Academy, where they will learn from the best. Me. <laughs> oh, and the uh, lightning. When we're through, your gap tooth buddy Mater. We'll have to tow you out of town in shame, because Radiator Springs will be mine. All mine! You call what they were doing out there racing? Well, we call it cheating. And cheating never got anybody anywhere. Ah, oh, come on. Everybody knows that nice cars finish last. In your dreams, Thunder. What are you talking about, Thunder? Well, you know, because Thunder always comes after... Lightning. Yeah. Why do I always fall for that? What in tarnation are you doing? Chasing my hook. Around here, you gotta make your own fun. Let me reintroduce ourselves. Jog your memory like. I'm Bubba, and these here boys are Tater and Tater Jr., proprietors of the world-famous Poe Tater Towing Company. Say hello, boys. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. Ring a bell, Mater? Long time ago, we agreed to race in Rust Bucket Stadium for the towing rights to Radiator Springs. Better get used to those flashbulbs, Lightning. This is Candace's world, and we're just living in it. We love you, Candace. Candace! Over here! I thought I had a paparazzi problem. Sheesh. Lightning, the only problem you'll have is beating me on my home track. No, 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 no. Daddy promised that I'd never lose. I'm calling him right now. Daddy, 
I want new tires, new paint, new everything. And I want it now! Whatever you want, sweetie. I'll make the usual arrangements. Thank you, Daddy. Now I've got some shopping to do. You know how buying always makes my hurt go away. Out of my way, you parasites. Daddy just opened a slew of platinum accounts on Romeo Drive. And I plan on maxing out every one. Uh -huh. Her Highness seems a little upset. You notice that too, huh? Later! Dad, come! What? Did I scare you? Me scared? No. Only thing that scares me is... Well, never mind. I don't like talking about the ghost light. Cause it's enough to shake the rust off your bumper, the dirt from your windshield, the oil from your carburetor. Are you done babbling now? Yeah, I guess so. Good. Then me and the taters would like to... Hey, I just thought of something. Tater rhymes with mater. <laughs> Not only that, but mater rhymes with tater too. Come on, let's try and find some more stuff that rhymes with our name. Those three could spell IQ if I spotted them the eye. Enough's enough, lady. I'm gonna shake your shocks, bend your rims. I'm gonna. Easy there, soldier. You're excited. Get it. I am Hill Machis more bigger than big, better than bad. It's time I showed you what me time is all about. Me time that doesn't even make sense. Who is supposed to be me time? Bigger than big, better than bad. You! It's you and Motor Coach's fault. I need more RPMs. Bigger tires, bigger shocks, bigger fenders, bigger everything to crush y'all! Man, even I'm not that much of a sore loser. Mater, you won't believe the news! Hey, hey, my new buddy! Oh, we are just about ready to overheat. We're so happy. Bubba just told us that we're going to get all the towing rights to Radiator Springs. Woohoo! That's great. You're going to love it. Radiator Springs has a bunch of great cars. Flo's V8 Cafe, Ramones, Sarge's, Fillmore's. Hey, wait a minute. Radiator Springs has a tow truck, too. That would be me. Hmm, I think this is what city folk call a dilemma. Hey, Lightning. I want to introduce you to one of my new friends. This is Stinger. If I were you, I'd choose my friends more carefully. Uh, how's it going? Oh, the strong silent type, huh? We get it. A little cliched, but we get it, man. Look out behind you, Lightning. He might not talk much, but Stinger's skills on this track speak loud and clear. You call yourself a muscle car? More like a steel-brained worthless bucket of bolts. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Smile now. Go ahead. But just wait. I still got some surprises for you, including our plans for Radiated Springs. Woo wee! Oh, I had more fun than a tornator in a trailer park. We had fun too. Don't you morons get it? We lost! No towing rights in Radiator Springs? No Rust Bucket Stadium? Nothing! Silge! Nada! What do you mean, nothing? We made a new friend, and our new friend won, and since our name's right, it's almost like we won, too! And these are the trucks that beat me? 
You haven't seen the last of me, Vader. I'll get rid of you if it's the last thing I do! I'm sure you will. Oh, and I'm gonna learn how to spell IQ, too. Hello and welcome to Radiator Spring Speedway, home of the finals for this year's historic race around series. No time to waste. Let's head down to the track for today's festivities. You know, Chick, for a car that doesn't race, you sure look the part. Oh, I see you got all dressed up, too. Yeah, I've been saving this for a special occasion. And any time I get a chance to beat you, it's definitely a special occasion. I got a little secret for you. Candice, Stinger, El Machismo, and the Vins. I was just using them to learn how to beat you. Now, I'm the perfect high-performance custom racer who's gonna take you down. Money and energy into myself instead of Candace and those other clown cars. Then I would have beat you. I could have won it all. I could have been the champ. I could. You could have been a better racer, but you weren't. Chick, there's more to racing than winning at all costs. The best racers are part of a team, something beyond themselves. The sooner you learn that, the sooner you won't be alone anymore. Ah! This isn't over yet. I'll be back. I'll get revenge. Stay alert, Lightning, because I'm gonna be coming after you when you least expect it. I promise you that! Poor chick. You'll never learn. But that doesn't mean the cars at the Academy and I won't keep having fun trying to teach me. Couldn't have said it better myself. Good going, kid. Uh, Lightning? The others and I wanted to... apologize for how we behaved on the track. Yeah, you're better than bad. Faster than fast. Sorry, I don't understand. He means that he likes the way you race. And I have to admit, I do too. Even though it takes the spotlight off of me. Thanks. I really appreciate it. And you're all welcome to come by the Doc Hudson Academy anytime. We'd love to have you. That's better than bad. Oh, thank you. Mwah. Perhaps you'd like to say... Thank you. I'm sure, deep inside, he's grateful too. I am speed. One winner, four losers. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Da, 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 Ladies and gentle cars, welcome to the Radiator Springs Grand Prix! And boy, it's gonna be a humdinger of a race, too. <laughs> Check out them fancy racing outfits! Yep, we got some familiar faces. And some new guys, too. I say, lovely day to rip it up on a small town track, eh? And of course, we got my best friend here to Radiator Springs' own most famous race car, Mr. Lightning McQueen. <laughs> so let's get this show on the road. Lightning? Are you in there? Lightning! What? Downshift. Uh, check her flag. Lightning! Wake up! Oh, what? Did I, did I win? I think you were dreaming. Oh. Yeah, I was dreaming about a race. You know, I kind of figured that. No, it wasn't any ordinary race. It was the Radiator Springs Grand Prix. And you were in it. And Doc. And Mater was the announcer. You know what that sounds like to me? What? Sounds like you're ready for some competition. Oh, you got that right. Well, today's a great day for it. Doc's looking for you. He wants you to meet him out at Willie's Butte later. And I saw some new cars hanging out at Flo's. Maybe fans of yours looking for a race. Wow, sounds like I better get busy. Hey, kid! You ready to go after the Piston Cup? Yeah, showtime. Well, you said it! Just as soon as you get some practice. 
Well, you've been taking it kind of easy around town for a while now, so we got to get you back into shape before the new season starts. Besides, they just don't let anybody with four wheels race for the Piston Cup, you know. First, you've got to place in enough races, games, and competitions to qualify. Then you can go back to the big leagues, all right? So what do you say? You ready to get moving? ka -chow. I'll take that as an okie-dokie. Hey, Lizzie, what you got there? Oh, postcards. Old ones, too. I've been collecting these for a long time, from all the way down Route 66. Wow. Oh, look at that one. Some of these go back 60 years. <gasps> it's a blizzard! Don't worry, Lizzie, I'll find them. They can't have gone too far. You see? I told you I'd find them all. Yep, they're all there. You would not believe how far some of them got. Almost all the way down Route 66. Who are you? Um, Lightning McQueen? I... <laughs> I found your postcards. Oh, there they are. I've been looking everywhere for them. You're the esteemed American racer, Lightning McQueen, correct? Um, okay. Splendid! How fortuitous! My colleague Gerald and I were hoping to engage your attention in a little competitive excursion. Was that English? British, my dear boy. We've hopped across the pond to give you Yanks 1-4, eh? What about you guys? We have also come for a challenge. All right then, welcome. The more the merrier. Hey, Stickers. I was hoping you and I could oh go... Oh my gosh! Well. There he is! It's totally him! Hi, Lightning. Remember us? Of course. Are you kidding? Who could for... Uh, yeah, you know, I think you look familiar. <laughs> he remembers us! So, aren't you going to introduce me to your friends? Yeah, this is, uh... I'm Mia. I'm Tia. We're his biggest fans! Okay. Wow. Well, that's charming. We were hoping, like, Lightning would take a drive with us. Actually, ladies, I don't think that's such a good idea. Ho hold on, hold on. I, I, I have a better idea. You girls up for a little friendly competition? Three laps. Winner takes a drive with Lightning. Oh my gosh! We're so in! You don't have to do this. Uh, don't you worry. I need the workout. Count me in too, honey! Can't have a girl's day without me. So how'd it go? Piece of cake. Really? <laughs> Come on. Groupies are no match for the real thing. So what about that drive? You've got yourself a date. You're late, son. Been waiting here an hour already. Sorry. Yeah, well, time's a-wasting. Let's get to work. Come on, Doc. I still got it. So you say. You still remember how to handle yourself on dirt? Sure, sure. Right to go left. And this time, I'm not going into the cactus, old-timer. Well, we'll just see about that. Whew! Good run! Uh-huh. Not bad. That track's only got two turns, though. Let's see how you handle these back roads. You and me. What, me? Racing the fabulous Hudson Hornet? Nope. You racing your crew chief. Let's go. How's that? Okay? Ah, that's okay, but you're hanging it out too much. Too early on the throttle. Hey, you listening to me? Whoa, what's he doing here? Checking out the competition. Yeah, must be nervous. No. Just smart. Huh. You think I should do the same thing to him? Go to his town, hide out, watch him practice? You race. As well as you run your mouth, you'd have that piston cup already. 
Just don't worry about him. You have plenty of work to do. I'm sure you'll be seeing each other soon. Hey, Lightning! You ready for your first big race of the season? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm pumped. Speaking of pumped, if Flo pumps me full of any more fuel, I think I'm gonna bust my trailer hitch. Better hit the road! <laughs> Daryl Car Trip here at Pine Mile Speedway for the start of what's going to be an amazing Piston Cup race season. Last season's Piston Cup saw perennial loser Chick finally take first place. But it could have been last place as far as the fans were concerned. This season, all eyes are on Lightning McQueen. And I got to tell you, after his incredible display of sportsmanship, I know a lot of y'all are going to be rooting for him. With the King retired, it's going to be Chick versus Lightning this time around. Chick ain't gonna give up that trophy so easily either. Lightning McQueen, buddy, you better watch your back. Hey Guido, all set? Beat stop, boss. Uh-oh. -uh. Lightning. Ah, oh, hello, Chick. Check it out. Attenzione. So, big deal. Well, you know. I just figured you might want to get acquainted with the view. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, because you're going to be spending a lot of time behind me. In the race. We're going to be in the race and I'll be ahead of you and we'll be behind me. In the race! Is it me? Is it not, what are we not getting here? <laughs> you are so driven, Chick. I love that about you. Hey, you! Back to your pit. Stop bugging my driver. Too bad your crew chief isn't going to be out on the track to look after his little boy. Ow, excuse me. Hey, cosa ti prende? Dreadfully garish, aren't they? Positively killed it. Too true. They are loving my gold. Now, why gold, my dear boy? This is all about winning. You cannot take first place if you do not look the part. Oh, and how do you know you can best us in the next competition? Easy. I see you have silver on your rims. He's got a point there. Hey, Fillmore, what's cooking? A new batch of special brew, my friend. <laughs> Oh, Fillmore, what's in that? Good stuff, huh? I call it my super octane boost juice. You think it'll help me go faster? <laughs> Only one way to find out, man. So, right to go left, right? Uh, yeah. Whoa, deep. Well, I think you'll get more out of this than me. So here. Fill up on this batch and I'll just keep brewing it for you, free of charge. Really? Thanks. All right, Mac, we've got a race to get to. Piston Cup, here we come! Of course, most cars do not do that on purpose. Well, I gotta practice for my race. I'm a real racing car now. The Rust Bucket Racerama, huh? Let me guess. Demolition Derby. Yep, it's my favorite racing track in the whole world. Well, it's a family tradition. Look, there's my cousin Tommy Joe right there. New guy! What are you crazy? Ah, uh, he just done give you a hood, but that's Tommy Joe's way of saying hey. Howdy. 
I got an idea. Lightning, you want to help us practice for our big race? No, I think I'll sit this one out. Wow, Mater, I thought my races were rough. That was... You're missing a tooth. I am? No, I didn't have no teeth there before. Hey, Lightning, I won you a present. Check this out. I know how you love this boosty stuff. Wow, thanks, Mater. Hey, look, you didn't have to take all that abuse just for me, you know. Abuse? That was fun! And besides, what are best friends for anyway? Hey, you're that Lightning McQueen guy. Yeah, we're from Queens. Barry, be cool. So, anyways, uh, we got a uh, opportunity for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You think you're the best race car around, but if you want to be the best, first you got to beat the best. <laughs> <laughs> and I take it that would be you guys. What, you don't believe us? Come on, tough guy. I will throw down, which is right here, right now. Yeah, throw down, down to the ground, on the road. Ow! Okay, guys, no problem. I accept your opportunity. Ready when you are, buddy. Cross Country Mac has got your back. All right, time for a checkup. Them new horses get your attention, don't it? Yeah, Doc, this new upgrade feels great. Well then, why don't you just show this crazy old grandpa car what you got? Hey, Stickers, you ready for that drive you owe me? Wheel well? Sure, we haven't been up there in a while. Great, just a nice leisurely drive, right? Oh, absolutely, not even gonna hit third gear. Ladies first. Okay, if you say so. <sighs> Remember the first time we came up here? Yeah, you mean the first time you tricked me into a race. <laughs> I did do that, didn't I? I'll never forget it. I find the American landscape so myriad in its challenges, don't you? Every turn a bracing new thrill, every distance a dangerous gauntlet. Don't you agree, my fellow racing aficionados? Uh, are we gonna race or what? Sorry, Chief. Road's closed. Looks okay to me. No, he means it's close to you. What's that? I can't hear you. I said it's close to you. Nope, still getting nothing. You said get lost, pal. Oh, what are you gonna slice and dice me with your spoiler? Hey, wait a... Tell you what, subwoofer. Three laps ought to settle this. Me, you, and your little tweeter friends. When I win, you let me pass. Oh, and you can throw in one of your boost canisters. Seriously, do you really need that much boost? Okay, let's do this. Okay, boost tank. Ah, come on guys, don't be so hard on yourselves. You know what? Just learn to relax. Go take a drive. This isn't over, McQueen. Let's bounce! Guido, how come you not keep the tires from falling? Eh? E non urlare a me! Mi hai sorpreso! Uh, Luigi, hello! Ah, hello, my friend. Hey, there are these guys in town that want to race me, and I'm going to need a new set of tires, so hit me. He wanted the white walls, no? No, Luigi, that's not going to cut it. I think I need something a little bigger. The 
the queen! Get over here! I will flatten you like a pancake! You can't hide from us! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 I have the tires for you, Guido? Oh yeah, you have the tires, but do you have the metal fortitude? We're about to find out. Let's do this! What'd you say, puny tow truck? Lightning for Pete's sake, the race is over. You can stop your yelling now. Oh yeah, right. Right, sorry. Hey, look guys, it's the king of the road. Yeah, more like McQueen of the road. Hey, Chickster, what are you doing out here, dog? I don't know, thought I might try out a few things I've learned. Ah, you went back to school. Good for you, Chick. Maybe you'll even graduate this time. Education is so important. He's right, you know. Ow! You know, I spend a lot of time in my hood, and you hit it. He hits my hood. Watch the hood, okay? Hey, Mr. Educator, you ready to get schooled? I forgot to tell you, Chick. The roads out here aren't like the tracks you and I are used to. No, they got these things called... Right turn. Right turn. So what? It wasn't a real race anyway. Nobody was there to see it or watch us. Nobody was there. It's like a, you know, if a tree falls in the forest and nobody, you know, doesn't get hurt. Does anybody see it? Or, you know, hear it? Oh, that's right. I forgot. You like losing in front of a crowd. See you at the stadium. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I'll see you. If you ever make it there. What's that supposed to mean? There he is! We all set? Oh, it's on! It's bedtime! Oh, that's nice! Sheriff, have you seen Mac? Oh, bad news, son. He just radioed. He was driving west along the interstate and somehow a gang of punk kids stole all of your gear from his trailer. Is he okay? Sounded a bit shaken up. Probably feels bad about it more than anything. Oh, good. I'm glad he's all right. Oh, no. I need that stuff for my next race. Crazy delinquent hot rodders. Wait till I catch him. That's it. You can mess with me, but you don't mess with my friends. Aw, oh, man, you busted my subwoofer. And look at my spoiler. It's cracked. You're lucky that's all you got to complain about, son. We'll see what Doc Hudson has to say about this. Hey, it wasn't our idea. Yeah, some car paid us off. Some car? Yeah, some green race car. I don't know, he had a mustache. Ah, chick. Come on, I'm ready. Let's go find chick. Hey, save it for the track, son. Just get ready for what's coming. Yeah, yeah, look, I'm okay now, Lightning. You got our stuff back, and, and Flo's been taking good care of me. So, come on, let's just have a nice, relaxing ride out to the stadium. Hey, we can even sing together. June bugs on my radiator, mosquitoes on the windshield. Dun, 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 dun.
This is it. This is for all the marbles. And don't let that stupid stuff with chicks screw up your head. Stay focused. You'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Let's go win this thing. What's the matter, Thunder? Didn't expect to see me here? What? Missed the big race? You weren't thinking of pulling out, were you? Oh, you know what I'm talking about, Chick. No idea, actually. Just looking forward to a friendly race with my good pal, Lightning. That's all. It's all about sportsmanship, don't you think? Oh, hey, how you doing, guy? Didn't see you. Hey, best of luck to you. Now we're just moments away from the official announcement of tonight's winner, Lightning McQueen and Chick. Oh, listen to this. You got a lucky break and you know it. Hey, listen, Chick, luck had nothing to do with it. I won fair and square. You know, if you're going to be a loser, why not be a graceful loser? See? Changing the subject, changing the subject. Subject changer, he doesn't want to admit that he can't pull that off again. Hey, 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 hold on, fellas. He did win the race, and we have the tapes to prove it. I'll tell you what, Chick, I'll race you again. Oh, yeah? Okay, good. How about tomorrow night? How about right here? How about tomorrow night right here? This is incredible. Lightning versus Chick in an all-out grudge match. Actually, Daryl, I've got something better in mind. The Radiator Springs Grand Prix. Three races, one in each part of Ornament Valley, and ending with one last Piston Cup race. Can we do that? We can now. Unbelievable. This is going to be a week of racing like nobody's ever seen. Chick, do you accept Lightning's challenge? Yeah, of course I do. Hey, and all you be sure to tune in and watch me. Chickster, number 86-ster. Win the Piston Cup trophy. For real this time. Hey, what's that red light flashing in there for? Uh, dude, you're live on camera. I'm on the TV? Woohoo! I gotta call the relatives! Okay, lean back, son, so we can start this thing. No, sorry. Welcome to the charming little town of Radiator Springs. My hometown. For race number one of the first annual Radiator Springs Grand Prix. Expect some wide open, off-road action today as the rivalry between Lightning McQueen and Chick really heats up. He's the ugly green car with the mustache, right? Hey! Who you calling ugly, spit cup? And the cars are lining up at the starting line now. Boy, this here is gonna be some kind of fun. Okay, folks, let's go racing. Welcome to race number two of the Radiator Springs Grand Prix. And we're up here in beautiful Tailfin Pass. I don't know, Mater, looks like some pretty tricky roads up here. What do you think? Listen, we ain't done had no one fall off these here roads in a long time. I think. You doing okay, Chick? Yeah, of course I am. Can't get, you know, phone reception up here, that's all. And we're here at the start of race number three of the Radiator Springs Grand Prix with Vince, who came all the way out here from... Queens? Is that right? Uh, yeah. Hi, Ma! And why Radiator Springs? Did you come all the way out here to race against Lightning McQueen? Uh, uh, no. Uh, uh we, we know that guy, but, you know, uh, actually, we came out to, um, train with Chick, you know, he, yeah. Uh, we figured if he wants to be the best, you know, he, he's got to train with, like, a real professional racer, you know? S uh, someone who could win a lot. And, and, uh, uh, yeah. This is it, Mac. Uh, yeah. Hey, what's the matter? Ah, uh, you know, end of the season and all. I I'm just going to miss this, that's all. Ah, oh, come on, Mac. You know that a champion has to go back the following season to defend his trophy, right? You and I got plenty more road to travel, partner. You be careful out there, son. Ah, come on, Doc. I'm a veteran of the road now. 
a seasoned traveler. You still don't have headlights. Mm, don't you worry, Doc. I'll take care of him. And if you get stuck again? We're not gonna get stuck. Well, if you do, you know I'll be there to help you out. Thanks, Mater. So, uh, where are we going, anyway? I don't know. Wherever the road takes us, I guess. It's a pretty big country. Ooh, I almost forgot. Did you pack your trophy? Nah. Yeah. Where is it? <laughs> Don't worry, it's in a good place. Looking for the world's best backwards driver. You seen him around? Do you think he has time to give me that backwards driving lesson he promised? You bet your ding dang bumper I do. <clears throat> There's certain rules when you're driving backwards. The first thing you gotta do, turn your rear tires like they was your fronts. Like this right here. Then once you're going a bit and you want to head left, all you're gonna need to do is turn right. Got it? Ah, oh, I think so. Right to go left. Now, where have I heard that before? Good race, Mater. Think I got the hang of it? You sure do, Mr. G Gint, Grunt, Gint, Gint, Mr. Ginnell. Ginnell? Mater, what's a Ginnell? It's your name backwards. Hello? Mater, my name's not Litnig. You're not so good with the whole spelling thing, are you? Keeping cool, Sheriff? Nope. Speeders. Yeah, I hate those little buggers, too. They get all stuck in your no, grill and... No, no, not mosquitoes, son. Speeders! Got sand in your tank or what? You of all cars should know a thing or two about speeding. Wasn't too long ago I recall catching a certain race car who tore through my town. Right. That chase. Well, you gotta remember, you had help. Help? You wouldn't accuse an officer of the law of cheating, would you, son? Well, there's some barbed wire snagged on my bumper, telephone wires, and that statue of Stanley kind of slowed me down, too. Why, you're trying to tempt me into a rematch, aren't you? Sheriff, no. But I do something like that. I'll take your challenge, boy. Doc just tuned me up and outfitted me with a turbocharger. Wait a second. You're not going to bust me for speeding and throw me into the impound afterwards, are you? No, sir. Not if you win. Just what do you think you're doing, son? What? I thought all cops liked donuts. Get out of here. Before I have you picking up trash on the highway. Ah, come on, give me a little laugh on that. The donuts, that's funny. <laughs> Hot rudder. You were scheduled to be here at 0100, soldier. <laughs> Sarge, I'm not really a soldier. You are now, Private. Ten hundred. Yes, sir. I can't hear you, McQueen! Yes, sir! Better. Now, Duck said you are sorely in need of some formal off-road training. And by the looks of you, I'd say he's right. You're in my army now, son. So get down on your wheels and kiss the asphalt goodbye. Let's move it! Go, 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 go! <laughs> this is oh too my. hard! Come on, you gas-guzzling sissies! I know you all got V8s. <laughs> I didn't get my latte! Have you ever even been off-road? I want you to wade into that mud. Eat that dirt. Now, your first task is to make it around this course. Double time. And clear all obstacles. Do not falter. Failure is not an option. 
No faltering. Check. Not bad. But now the course is different. It will require different skills. You will need to be agile, fit, athletic, and adaptable. <laughs> You've been reading my press, haven't you, Sarge? Although you left out sleek, charming, and dashing. Okay, I'm going. All right. One last test, and it'll require all of your muscle, all of your cunning. I want horsepower. I want focus. I want ingenuity, agility, and endurance. Ah, uh, I want some coolant. Move it! You look overheated, Private McQueen. Yes. Exhausted? Yes. You'd like nothing better than a hot car wash, a cool ration of fuel, and a nice shady garage. Ah, oh, yes please. Well, too bad. We're gonna go for a little drive. <sighs> Maybe it's time to go see Doc again. You need new tires, yes? No, but I think someone might. Who? I, I will sell to them some beautiful white walls. Well, I've seen a lot of hubcaps and tires lying by the side of the road outside of town. Tires? On the ground? Do you want me to have Mater pick them up for you? No, 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 no. Luigi will do it himself. My poor tires. Abandoned. Alone. Dirty. Luigi will go save them. Mater! What? What happened? Somebody called the police. Oh, hey, buddy. Come on, let's go tractor tipping. Wait a minute, you want to go tractor tipping? <laughs> Please, I thought you was a scared. Me? Afraid of tractors? No, I was scared of Frank. Nah, Frank's a big guy. Move slow. Well, I've seen him move pretty fast. He moves left, I'll fake to the right. He cuts to the right, I shoot to the left. Well, all right then, smarty fenders. What if he comes straight at us? Easy. We run. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Oh! <laughs> He's going to get you. Of the best. I've dreamed about this moment for as long as I can remember. Okay, Mr. McQueen, let's see how you do. Doc and Smokey are fast, so try to keep up. Remember, skill is everything, and these two had the skills. Get ready. Hey, it's Louise. Look out, Smokey. Here I come. Louise, oh, this is great. showed up. Wow, River Scott. This is so cool. Junior's here. Now it's a race. This is awesome. You did it. You beat the legends. Nicely done. I still can't believe what these simulators can do. I really felt like I was right there racing with Doc. Oh, man, does that bring back some memories. Well, get ready for another blast from the past. Looks it's like you're up next. Quite a week in racing. After the break, we pull into the slower than slow lane with old timer Lightning McQueen to discuss the ill-advised continuation of his career. Hey Lightning, thanks for stopping by. Ill-advised? All right, I'll level with you. Old 95 still gets big ratings for some reason. Oh, I get it. Fans love a comeback story, right? Comeback story? <laughs> That's hilarious. Nah, nothing gets viewers revved like a massive crash and burn. You are overdue, my friend. 
Right, Natalie? Well, there are a few red flags in your statistics, Lightning. Going by the numbers, I'd say... See, that's the problem, Natalie. You can't rely on numbers alone. Racing's something you have to feel and experience, right, Cruz? Yeah, I mean, if I've learned anything from Mr. McQueen, it's that you need skill as well as speed. Interesting. Jackson Storm, care to weigh in? Far be it from me to correct an elder statesman and his entourage. Wait, are, are we recording? Always! Wow, you're as slow as ever. So what do you say, Jackson? You up for a race with these two? Anytime, chick. And just to be sporting, I'll give them time to get ready. You know, run a few warm-up races until Natalie's sure their stats are top-notch. Top-notch? Hey, I beat you once, Jackson, and I'll do it again. Ooh, now that is good TV. I'll have my guys on location to track his lack of progress, and we'll even bring out the big guns in the studio simulator. Join us this season as Chicks Picks with Chick Hicks presents the Lightning Storm Cruise with Lightning, Storm, and Cruise. Well, folks, we're rapidly approaching Lightning McQueen's historic race with Jackson Storm. And you can bet that old Kachow's shaking in his light ears, considering that... Not so fast! He's not so fast. Never has been. Oh, yeah! Here I come! <laughs> my trophy! Who are you? And what are you doing on my set? Security? Fritter's the name! And me and the Crazy Eights have some unfinished business with old Lightning McQueen. Cause I may be a huge fan. Oh, I'd say. But I want a shot at him, so set it up! As much as I would personally love to see that, unfortunately we've got sponsors and station managers hey, who... you listen here. Somebody's gonna get messed up. And if it ain't my boy Lightning Bolt, it's gonna be you! Take your pick, chick. Join us tomorrow, folks, for a showdown between Lightning McQueen and, uh... You hear that, Muddy Bridges? You got yourself a date with Miss Fritz. All right, folks, we are back. And how about that race? Naturally, it's the outcome a champion like myself expected. Nothing surprises Chick... Ah! What's going on back there? Sorry, Chick. <laughs> Just trying to get my costume situated. I told you during commercial we don't do skits on this show. Anyway, folks, join me in welcoming Lightning McQueen's old pal straight from Radiator Springs, Mater. I think what you're meaning to say is Mater the Greater. <laughs> This is where you're supposed to play my theme song. Camera on me, please. As I was saying, newfangled racers may have what it takes in the looks department, but what about specialized skills? Yeah, like stunt driving. Right, I was getting to that. Stunt driving. Nothing shows off a racer's skills better than showing off after an amazing jump. Hey, 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 you're reading my cue cards. Nothing shows off a racer's skills better than showing off... And you already said that! Ah, uh, I'll be in my dressing room. Lightning McQueen, thanks for being on the show again. It's my pleasure, Chick. <laughs> it sure is. Now, rumor has it that you're a complete disaster in the simulator. Is that true? What? No. I mean... I prefer racing on a real track, oh, but... so you're not a disaster. Great, because I am awesome. So what do you say we prove it? That's right, folks. It's the ultimate showdown between Lightning McQueen and forever champion Chick Hicks. Whatever. Just so you know, we've made some tweaks to the simulator. And, well, I think you're going to really like the view. Don't go anywhere, folks. You don't want to miss this. We're here on location for the final showdown between Lightning McQueen and Jackson Storm. Jackson, think you still got what it takes to beat old 95? Still have what it takes. I never lost it, Chick. Lightning may have had a lucky win, but it won't happen again. Ooh, hear that, McLoser? And how about a stats update, Miss Certain? Well, I've said it before, Chick, and I'll say it again. Lightning's numbers just don't match up to Storm's. You've heard it, folks. Lightning has a 0% chance of winning. That's not at all what Could I said. Could this truly be his last race? Will Lightning ever be victorious again? At least he's on the course, not prancing around in front of a camera all day. Ouch! Slow blow, Jackson. Run along now, you don't want to be late. But you caught it here first, folks. The final moments before the legendary race between Storm and Lightning. Well, it would seem that Lightning McQueen isn't quite done with racing yet. Although I could have won that with a way faster time. That race was fixed for ratings. You know I can beat you any time, Lightning. I can beat anyone, anywhere. Just bring it. 
anyone? Anywhere? <laughs> Man, this is good TV. Finmeg missile. It appears our little race has reached the finish line. The only thing finished around here is you, Professor C. We shall see. There you are, buddy! Get him! Ah! Hiya! Hiya! Makeup is escaping! There go! Gathering gun activated. Ha! Ah, capital idea! Dainey's lemons is bad. We gotta shake the base of the new Rocket fuel depleted. I shoot. Activating parachute. <laughs> Technology is sensitive. Easy, Mater. Let the rest of us have a turn. Gee, now we see how much better high speed chases are with the open wheel cars. Alright, but you two have fun. I'll let the fellas in. Mater, this technology is classified. Those cars don't even have the proper clearance. At ease, Shift 12. Any friend of Mater's is a friend of ours. Now, let's run another simulation. 